Generic greetings and welcome to Beverage Plus Armello. Once again, today's beverage is... Ah, soup. Chicken soup, actually. I don't know whether soup is actually a beverage or whether it's a food. I I've got chicken soup because I'm trying to soothe this man cold that I've got, but uh, to no avail, sadly. But yeah, I don't know whether it's a soup or a beverage. I guess it depends on how many chunks are in it. This one's very, very smooth, so I think we can go with the beverage. Hmm. My favourite's actually broth. That's my favourite food. Not chunky soup. No, there's no such thing as chunky soup. You mean broth. I like just to cut up as many vegetables as I can find, fling them in a pan of water, in their own mess, swirl them around, put loads of gammon in it, let it sort of boil away for a couple of hours and then leave it for at least a day just to so just for the meat to suck up all them juices and... Um, that's really good. I think we'll do a, a food plus something at uh, some point. I guess you'd have to have face cam for that, so that's not going to happen. Anyway, enough about that. Armello, this has received an update uh, probably the last couple of hours as of the time of recording. And it's brought in a couple of new cards, some new changes, a new bounty mechanic, and other things as well. So I thought we'd enjoy a beverage with it. Let's go to single player. Also, because my head is swimming with uh, Lemsip, uh, Lemsip and Beecham's and other sort of anti-cold medicine, I, I don't really want to play a game that's too sort of um, twitchy. Uh, let's go for, uh, I think, Thane, because he's the you know, a very, very good uh, salty one. Look at some other characters here. Look at all these. It says available at full release. So Wolf Clan Hero, Wolf uh, Bat Clan Hero, Bear Clan Hero, and uh, Rabbit Clan Hero. Ooh, new things. Ooh, nice. Don't know what that one is there. It's like a cheeky little rabbit. That's another bear. I wonder what else they're going to add. Nice. Anyway, I, I actually prefer the magic ones, so Santa, the wild for wild casting. But I think for speed, we're going to go with Thane because he's uh, the most combatant. I think. We'll select that, we'll go for our standard ring of plus one action point at night. Because we haven't got any of the others. And... Do we go with Soak to gain a body? Yeah, we'll go with Soak to gain a body. There we go. So, we'll just load straight into the game. Like I said, there's been a couple of updates uh, since I last played it. The main update was uh, to add a bounty mechanic. Now, the way the bounty mechanic works, as far as I'm aware, is... Uh, if you've got a bounty on your head, from whatever means... Uh, to get a bounty on your head, it could be things like... Wander into the castle or attack a guard and that you get a bounty um, And then if someone kills you they gain three gold and one prestige. I think that's how it works Oh, Anyway, we've got uh, the mysterious ones. This is the sort of Adaptive quest system that isn't fully finished yet uh, your clan elders have arranged a meeting with a local hunter who can offer advice But be wary for none can be trusted in these lands. Okay continue. So here I am here Am I really short-sighted? Yes, we're still very short-sighted my main gripe with the game is that you couldn't zoom out to see the whole board And then you can you still can't shame right we need to go there But I also want to get some money, so I'm gonna to go to the left first. So I'll go there and then we'll hide in the forest, and then we'll go into the town, and then claim it as ours. What have we got? We've got plus two health for a wild weed. We've got, ooh, witch hunters. That's a new card. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, play to a settlement stone, uh, or so stone circle. Peril rating three. It's minus four magic. That's pretty good. And we'll close that. And bark skin. Plus one body into the end of my turn. I don't really want to use any of them, so I think we'll just... End my turn. There we go. Witch Hunters. I really, I don't know why, there's something about Witch Hunters in, like, lore that I really like. In fact, um, I know, I, 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 used, I used to play a lot of uh, Warhammer Fantasy, and uh, I really liked Witch Hunters. I played Witch Hunters in more time, the, the actual uh, sort of tabletop game. I really liked the, the lore, and then when we did a uh, Warhammer Fantasy roleplay, I liked to play Witch Hunters in that, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, there's something about them. Because they just sort of well, I guess you could say fighting evil, and uh, there's something very sort of crisp about that. Although, then they do burn people at the stake, so maybe that's not overly good. Yeah. I also remember, what book was it I read about witch hunters? I think it was Mathis Thulman, Witch Hunter, which is a Warhammer book. Anyway, looks like there's a guy coming towards me, a Bane, which is uh, quite bad. We're going to have to wander in here, and then into this area, which is going to be a bit problematic, because uh, that's where I have to go, that stone circle. But there's also a peril there, so I'm going to give myself plus two body until the end of my turn. It's going to cost two magic, but that's fine. But I have a feeling I'm going to need the body for that when that bane attacks or whatever happens here. So minus one health for every rot point the target has. I don't have any rots, that's fine. I'm not going to burn any cards. Again, burn down timer is still there. Actually, that was my main gripe with the game. The fact that it's got a burn down timer, even though it's single player. I don't like it. I don't see the point in the timer in this game, especially for single player. 
Anyway, the mysterious ones and unease rustles through your fur as you approach the stone circle. The hired hound leans against one of the standing stones. Come on in, he says, chuckling. But there is something off about how he says it. So come on in, he says it probably. Uh, it could be nerves or it could be a trap. So I can flip a coin. I can draw your sword. This old hound needs to learn some manners or test. Uh, call the hound's bluff and awake the stone. Like, I'm going to draw my sword. Ha ha. Okay, and you now rise and draw your blade. The hound rises his paws in defeat. Hey, wow, I didn't mean anything, lad. Uh, put the steel away, would you? He never see produces a tightly wrapped parcel and throws it between you and him. Take it and leave me be. So I've gained a gold, prestige, and a, it a, a weapon card, or a item card, I guess. Uh, we've got a murder on the High Vale Peak, which is there now. Excellent. You've been sent... Uh, you've been sent word of a potential ally within a rival clan who wishes to help you claim the throne. He bids you... Uh, to meet him on the summit of Highville Peak, hopefully before he's found found out. Uh, yeah, just just come and meet me. Yeah, yeah. It's just a just a very easy trek up a mountain. Thanks, pal. Nice one. Anyway, ah, soup gets cold. Don't that. Oh, we got a nice throwing axe. Can we fling a throwing axe at that uh, bane? We could. I'm also going to attack him. Hiya! Have at thee. So. I'm going to get uh, my standard dice, plus one because it is dark, and that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to not burn any cards, I'll just roll the dice. There we go. I've got a lot of health, I've got seven health, so I can I can stomach a couple of hits. Looks like I've, I've got five hits, five hits on him, and he's got no defense. So I have killed the Bane, and then he hit me back, and I've got more defense. Have I got more defense? No, I think I've lost one health. That's uh, no real problem. Ha! Have at thee! And then it drops down. Yeah, I've, got, I've lost one health, but remember, I give myself plus two health anyway, so I will lose that temporary health. I don't know whether if you lose temporary health, you will actually... I don't know what happens, actually, if you lose temporary health. Does that reduce your overall... Well, it'll reduce my overall total. Will that mean that I will lose two health down to minus one of my original? I don't know. We'll see. Right, I've got one more movement, so I can go back in the stone circle. I can go into the woods and get some stealth. Things here provide stealth at night. Or I can go into the uh, dungeon and explore, which I'm going to. There we go. Looks like there's some new tooltips when your mouse over. I don't know if that was in there before. Found a bin. Oh, sweet. We found a bin. Yeah, let's have another fight. Why not? <laughs> I need some prestige. Keep Just keep grinding it, I think. Let's roll some dice, and here we go. And I'm good job I played that card on myself to gain plus, uh, plus extra health. Oh, look at them trees. Trees are excellent. They explode, allow you to re-roll. And looks like the bin is absolutely crapped out on this one. I don't think I've killed it, but uh, he's done no damage to me. So I'm going to hit him for two damage, yeah, so it's going to recoil back. There we go. So it was uh, a defeat for him, but uh, I didn't kill it. But that's okay. I know it's on full health. Oh, sorry. I know it's on minus two health, which is good. Anyway, there's Mercurio, and I bet he's going to my town, and if he is, I'm going to wreck him. Right, that's it, Mercurio. You're going down. Mercurio's ability is uh, when it captures a town off someone... It gains one gold from them. <coughs> I hate them. I really do. Looks like Santa's uh, moving over there. Yep, capture the town. And it's now Amber's turn. Let's press F to focus. F to focus? It's not focusing at all. <laughs> Must be in a wood. Oh, no, there they are. And looks like they are doing a bit of questing over there as well. Right. It's now daytime. Oh, lovely daytime. Right, so prestige leader. We have to uh, pick what is going to happen. So Amber's the prestige leader, so they're going to pick. Uh, any heroes rot lose one prestige. That's good, because I don't have any rot. Excellent. Good start. I wonder if they put any more of them cards in, because there was a very limited selection, to be honest with you. Looks like the King's Guard are wandering about, so I need to be aware of where they go. I don't want to attack anyone. So... Thane's turn. My turn. Okay, Mercurio, you're going down. One, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, if I go that way, I'm going to... If I go that way, I'm going to go through this thing, which is a petrified forest with a peril in it. If I go this way, however, and attack him that way, I'll be a little bit better. Oh, I could go there and go there and then use my throwing axe. One, two, three. I, don't, I can go around. I've got enough movement. Go there. One. Go there. Two. Throwing axe for two gold. <laughs> he drops down. Um, <laughs> and then uh, move in. Oh, that's crazy. I honestly, I think I don't think that was the best play because uh, because I I didn't. I don't think I technically killed him in a fight. I think it was just minus two health, so it wasn't associated with me. 
So uh, maybe charging in and attacking him would have been better, but I, I don't actually I don't even know what weapons he's got. Let's have a quick look for Mercurio. Uh, Mercurio, oh, he's got nothing on his inventory, so maybe attacking would have uh, worked out. Looks like some attacking over here with Amber and uh, Sana. There we go. It's one of the very few digital board games. It's actually like quite interesting to play single player I guess because it was built that way like I have played it multiplayer and it works um, I guess it's gonna be better now because as far as I'm aware um, they've now put AI bots in it if people drop because originally the problem is you 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 know people would take ages after sort of 50 minutes one of the worst things was if someone just goes I'm just gonna drop out now and then the game would end you know you can't do anything else but now I believe that uh, there are bots that take over looks like I've got a flail in battle when attacking gain plus two swords I'm gonna definitely take that there we go. And I could attack Mercurio, which is over there. Could attack that Bane that's over there. So who do I want to go for first? I'm going to go up the mountain and then attack Mercurio because he can... Uh, yeah, well, he's going down. Looks like he's got a lot of cards in his hand. That's fine. So, looks like I'm... Oh, I, I, looks like I have got extra... Uh, do I want to roll any of these? No, we don't want to roll them. We'll just do that. It looks like he's burning a lot of cards there, Mercurio. He might even uh, cause a bit of damage to me here. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to kill each other, by the look of it. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to kill each other. <laughs> uh, okay, so bam, 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 overkill, and then he's going to go overkill, 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 kill, kill, kill. Yeah, so we killed each other. That's uh, interesting. So, minus eight, minus six, and uh, we both drop down, <laughs> and we disappear. There we go. Yeah, it's, um, it, it is actually a good game single player I mean there's a lot of other digital board games that I've played but they're all been ports or a lot of them have been ports they just aren't that good or they're just the fine like Blood Bowl is very good I, I like that but the AI needs well the AI is just dated um, Talisman was pretty boring I mean it was it was a fine copy of the board game but it was pretty dull I mean it was you know you, the thing is you realize just how automated and how little choice you had uh, when the AI was doing it, because you would literally be there pressing spacebar to roll. In fact, I think when I did my preview, although I did like it, uh, you could really tell. I mean, I was just, there was, I think it was 10 minutes would go by where all I was doing is going. Like just rolling dice, pressing space, accepting what the, what the result was and things like that. And it was just, you know, it was just getting, it was just annoying. But multiplayer, it's actually really good. I've tried it. Or it's, it's, it works anyway. Anyway, uh, I think the best digital, one of the best digital board games I've played is uh, Galaxy Trucker. Galaxy Tr the Galaxy Trucker app uh, for for well, I think it's on iPad, but I've got it for Android. Um, that is amazing, and it's it is just a well, it's a copy of the digi uh, of the board game called Galaxy Trucker. You basically make spaceships out of. Uh, there's a nice shield. I'm going to cast that shield on myself. Uh, you basically make a. I think Makura is going to go there, so I'm going to give that plus four magic thing. Can't play it. Clan Garon. Where do you have to play it? Oh, you can't play while in Clan Garons, that's right. There we go. Can't afford it either. Oh, well. Um, yeah, the, the the app is really, really good. It's it's a, it's a it's pretty much a straight copy. That means nothing. We haven't got anything. Uh, it's pretty much a straight copy of the actual board game Galaxy Trucker, but you, you build spaceships out of scrap and things like that, and then you fly around a like a system and it's really 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 good um but either way it's uh, one of the it's probably it is the best uh, digital board game i've played i think it's probably followed by yeah what is the second one i guess hmm i guess elder signs omens that's pretty good Again, that's on tablet as well. A lot of them, well, a lot of them are on tablet actually. And I don't think about it. Probably the only decent things on tablet. <laughs> There's only I, I, I haven't played a lot of games on um, on the a tablet or Android or anything, but uh, the ones I have have been fairly terrible. Um, I've tried a lot of the freemium ones, and I remember I remember my f we were playing an RPG uh, on a night pen and paper, and uh, one of my friends was getting a bit bored or whatever. And he was playing on a uh, dungeon keeper and he'd been playing for weeks and he'd not paid any money and you could just tell how terrible that game was because you just, <laughs> you know, oh, it's going to take 24 hours to dig out one block. 
What a terrible game. Anyway, Warhammer. Uh, equipable in battle, minus one dime, plus two swords. So we're going to get plus four swords. Sadly, we can't afford that. And Mercurio has nicked my only... Uh, looks like he's nicked my only town over there. The problem I have is that I can't really protect anything from him. And... To, go, to get to him, I'd have to go round here. I think he's in that forest there, but I can't go through that guard. So instead, I'm just going to ignore him totally and go to my quest here. So what we're going to get... Ooh, some nice treasure. In battle, suns and moons that miss count as shields. That's awesome. That is awesome. We're putting that on. It's free as well. I didn't mean to go there. Go back there. I guess we'll get another search on. <laughs> please be money. Please be money. Please be money. Nothing. Damn it. Okay. Looks like we'll attack the bane because I can. Ha! Okay, so, I'm going to get a lot of attack here. So, we've got our knight dice, we've got our shield dice, and here we go, roll the dice. So, hopefully, uh, if we get any misses, so any suns will count as, uh, there you go, there's the suns, they're counting as defense. So, that's awesome. We are tooled up to fight now, and I've completely wrecked that burn. Bye, burn. Bam, 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 bam. Not burn, as in, you know, the, the, the Dark Knight Rises thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> punching through a marble column as he comes at me. Good grief, that scene. Right, charge forward. And get a prestige. However, we'll lose a health. I really do want to give myself a little bit of... I've got no money to cast that. I've got absolutely no money whatsoever. We'll have to end the turn and see where this devious, horrible rat is. Where is it? <sighs> Apologies if I sound a bit nasally, but as I said, this bloody man called is dragging on to just yeah it's, it's fighting on <clears throat> oh what the hell is this dark influence tag again plus one rot and poisoned well that's a new one what the hell did that do play dark influence on me tag gains so it's spirit it's range two tag gains Come on, Pia. Taggins, plus two rot and plague card in their hand. And that's my plague card there. Plus one rot and tag is poison till the end of the turn. And gain a rot. So it looks like they've increased the way rot works. Or they've, they've increased the, uh, the whole rot system. Which I approve of because it was pretty underdone when I last played it. Right. That's problematic. So do we want to go full rot? I've got two prestige. I'm doing alright. Doing all right. We could go for a rot victory. I am going to try and win this game, but uh, we'll have to see how long it goes. Each hero stripped of one random item. If it's that shield, I'm not going to be impressed. Oh, lucky! Our royal shield is still here, but the other one isn't. I can handle that. That's no problem. Okay, my turn. Uh, I'm on two health. That's bad. Let's head up the mountain. Have a little chat with our person. Uh, after many hours of climbing, you have uh, reached the summit of High Vale Peak to find nothing. Save for the dead body of a rabbit clan warrior. Uh, could this have been your potential ally? A commune with the wild to find the killer. Uh, look at the body and leave. Uh, loot the body and leave the peak, or search the air for killer's scent. Test body. Okay. Notice the air, you're able to use your keen sense of smell to quickly track the rabbit's killers. You catch up with them before they've even made it back to the camp. You slay them with a little difficulty. Plus one prestige and plus one gold. Fantastic, that's good. And looks like we have to go back here. Uh, the Lost. Uh, word has reached your ear uh, of these cur of these cursed plains where settlers vanish into thin air and never seen again. Find the truth behind these disappearances to cure loyalty of the plain settlers. Okay, I can do that. Let's... Hmm. Heavy plate armor. Minus one bat action points. <laughs> uh, and in battle, plus three shields. That's fairly good if I'm doing all of the fighting in the world. But sadly, I don't I don't think I want to do that. I do want to give myself some health, though. So we'll drink our little wild portion. There we go. And... Can we cast this anywhere? Plus one rat and target is poisoned till the end of the turn. No, I'm going to save that for the rat. Let's head down and go into... Ah, oh, I keep finding nothing in there. That's a shame. Oh, it looks like the rat's back. Yeah, I keep finding nothing in them things. So where's the rat going to go? It goes into perils a lot. 
I think, they, I think the rat can do perils quite well. It looks like Santa's going to probably take that town on. Oh, they already own that town, so I wonder what they're going to do. Head towards this thing. Probably be doing their quest. Yeah, probably. See, without the quests, you would pretty much be wandering all over the place, just randomly, just going, oh, I wonder what, and then uh, slaying the other uh, creatures. I think it's a very fine line, though, because I've played it a couple of times multiplayer, and what some people tend to do is capture one town, go to places like this, and then just go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, and keep looting through these uh, dungeons just to see what they can find. And eventually, they'll get tooled up. Because traveling for maybe a couple of days just through, you know, doing nothing, traveling away, traveling through like the plains and whatnot, is nowhere near as good as just going to these places and just keep searching them for loot. Obviously, you can find banes, but if you're tooled up, you can fight them quite well. Oh, it looks like there's a bane attacking a guard's knight. Uh, a knight. A king's guard. Right, okay, so we need to head over here. We can reach there, so I'll go down there. And then via this place here, we only have one gold, so I can't really do anything. I really want to find some gold. Please be gold. Please be gold. Please be gold. Gold! Excellent, right. Do I want the hammer or do I want the armor? Minus one battle dice and plus two swords. Which means I'm going to get plus four swords standard. I think we'll go for that. And then we'll go in here. So, the lost. Your quest has taken you to the heart of the plains, where the wheat grows in thick forests of gold. Ooh, like gladiator. Uh, you flock, uh, a flock of birds uh, scatters into the sky when you hear them thundering footsteps uh, crossing through the wheat field. Ca what? Crossing directly to you. Draw your weapon and get ready to fight. I'm pretty sure I'll be alright with this one. When the creature appears, you strike it with your weapon. The beast, some kind of rot infested boar, lets out a terrifying roar before finally succumbing to its wounds. Settlers reward you well for your bravery. Three gold and one prestige. That is awesome. Okay, King's uh, Caravan over there. I'm not going to read them out now because, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be here forever. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't want to get that. That's Mercurio's town. Where is the town closest to me? There's one there. Where's the where's the rot? Where's the rat? He's over. I don't know where the rat is. Where's the rat? There he is. There he is. So I could go there, but that's segueing to it's gonna take many turns. I think I'll go this way back into my town. Or back into this area here and search. See if we can find anything else. Nothing. Damn it! And uh, we'll end the turn there. One of the patch notes that I did notice is uh, they've changed the nothing symbol to look more like nothing. Because um, it was just a black circle, but now they've put a cross to it. Interesting. Crooks. What? Mercurio's playing that to me. So, peril rating 2. Minus one, minus 1 gold if the target can't pay, then minus 1 health and minus 1 action point. Really? He decided to play that to me? I really don't like that rat now. That's That, that rat is really getting on my nerves. How would he play that to me, though? I don't understand. What's the what's the distance here? Peril rating two. Yeah, there's just no. It just plays at any point, I guess. Play to tile. Play it on my tile. Any tile, I guess. Yeah. Most stuff has ranges, which is interesting. Anyway, you can see uh, the sun is coming up. Let's have another sip of beverage here. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, how close are is anyone to victory point? Let's have a quick look. I have only got... Oh, God, let's just wait for them to deal with this sort of king's decree. Uh, plague perils, uh, ravage Amelo settlements. Okay, so we've got... That's a new one, that, I think. Looks like we're probably going to get loads of plague perils on settlements. Yeah, all, all settlements now have perils. Okay. And this uh, <laughs> king's guard is attacking the bane once more. And it's finally dropped down. And I was going to take that area, but uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Right, let's head up to... Well, we'll head over this way. I wouldn't mind going back over to get rid of my uh, my rot. Let's see what we can find, though. Gold! Yes, gold, gold! All right! So, I've got seven gold now, more than enough. That's fine. Minus four magic. Ah, my, uh, plus one rot and the target is poisoned. Can I do that on the rat? Where's the rat, you little git? No, I can't. He's not in range. I'm coming for you, rats! I'm coming for you! Um, I've only got three health, so I don't really want to go into the swamp. 
Witch hunters, where can I place that? That's on a stone circle. Hmm. Do I really want to... I don't really want to go in there. I could just end my turn here. So you can't get on top of the mountain because it takes two action points, you see. Ah, no guts to glory. Let's just head down that way and then we'll end the turn. Right. Let's see if anyone's close to a win. There's my inventory shelf. Quite good. I've got one spirit stone. So not enough to do a cleanse. If that guy's played to me, I hate that. I hate that rat. Urgh! He's played poison to me. So suffer one, oh, one damage point. Oh, hang on. What, what? Mercurio plays Poison Gift to Thane. And then, what is it? Target is poison till at the end of their turn. Poison, suffer one damage per action point spent. I don't understand. Target is poisoned till the end of their turn. Suffer one damage per action point spent. So, if that was played on me, how come... Poison courses through Mercurio's veins. Uh, am I missing something here? Was there more poison being played? I'm guessing someone's played poison to... Poison to him as well. Ah, oh, Amma played poison to Mercurio. And... It looks like, yeah, he played poison to me. That is just weird. Right, okay. Let's just head back up towards my quest over here. Or I could go in that stone circle and get rid of the rot. I think I'm going to do that. I think I want to get rid of this rot. And looks like I haven't actually met anyone. Sometimes you meet people, sometimes you don't. I do want to place that card somewhere then. Let's just place it there just to get it out of my hand. And then we will end the turn. So, Mercurio drawing cards. What's he going to do? Let's check other people's inventory. So... Oh, looks like Mercurio has got the uh, Moon Scythe, which is pretty good. Uh, moon Dice rolls uh, at night explode. That's good. Orc Spear in battle when defending game, plus two swords. And he's got the Warhammer that I've got. Looks like Sana has got plus one wits in battle and plus one shield. That's a nice looking card. Nice. Oh, it shows you the ass as well. And two trusty shields. So, shield on each arm and a helm. <laughs> <coughs> oh, good grief. That is, um, interesting. Royal Banner. Uh, that's pretty good as well. Plus two. A uh, plus three prestige. Looks like the flying. It's like Superman. That's just a banner. Anyway. Another prestige. Go on this one. Ah, uh, sip of beverage. Darkness strikes the land. Uh, corrupt. What? Plus one rot and, uh, looks like we perish. If we uh, we had rot, that's an interesting one. Right, let's draw a a lantern. Yeah, that's all right. Again, the scout ability. Don't even know what it does. Let's just head up towards this, and we will find gold. See, now we can't we can't. No, we're running out of got too much gold. Let's uh, head this way, and we will attack the rabbit. The rabbit's going down. So this isn't really my. Great one. Looks like they're getting... There's, there's a rot. It shows you how much rot people have got. So they're getting extra rot here. I think I will burn that card. I don't really want it. Nor do I want that. It's good armor, but I don't want the minuses. So let's just roll this. And we're going to get... There's a moon dice and there's a corruption dice. So bang, bang, bang. I think I've got to kill the rabbit here. And they're not going to be able, they're not going to be able to kill me. So, have at the chop chop, and they drop down. So I'll get a prestige. Excellent. In fact, that might make me uh, prestige leader. Yes, prestige leader pops up. There's a lot more little symbols and stuff that they've changed here. So you're getting different symbols popping up, and um, they've just polished it a little bit. I'm really glad to see this. Oh, Mercurio is heading into the keep, but, but. Didn't make it there. So has he got a bounty on him now? Counted the king's peril. Uh, king has declared Mercurio as a wanted criminal. So does he have a bounty on his head? I don't know, if you, I don't know how you find out. Mercurio. Scoundrel. Yes. Character portraits. Is that what that means there? 
I guess that means corrupted. Who's attacking me? What's attacking me? Ah, oh, Amber again. Hello, Amber. Um, wh what are you doing here? So they're going to get extra bonus because of their they are they've got rot more rot than me, and we'll roll some dice. This is not going to be good because I'm not attacking. I do very well on attacking, not so good on the old defense, and hopefully. I'm not going to be able, am I going to be able to kill them? No, but they're going to be able to kill me. Oh, there we go. I think I've left them on one health. And there's the minus four, minus three to them. Yeah, they're on one health. So Sana is probably going to come in and take them out uh, quite well. There we go. That's going to spin round. And it is now night time. I don't know how we're going to win this. I really don't know how we're going to win this. So we'll draw a spell card as well as a item card. Plus one fight and minus one wits until the end of your turn. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. We will head this way and always... We're still trying to head up to that place on the right and we're it's taken us a long time to get there. We can head further up into the forest and then finally into the other dungeon to give us... More gold! We've now got nine gold. Good grief. Right. Rot. Why can't I play that? It looks like I'll put the plague there. I'll put the plague there. That gives me an extra rot. I don't really care. Plus one peril difficulty. We'll do that as well. And... Plus one fight and minus one wits until the end of your turn. Looks like we'll drink the ale as well. Job done. And then we'll end the turn. Right. I think... I could go for an attack. I could just tool up and then go for an attack on the king. King is almost dead. I mean, the, the game's going to end soon anyway, just because, well, that it does end eventually. It will just end, and it's the person with the most prestige. Looks like Santa's going in. They've got a mark on them, and they they have won that. Right, they've managed to go inside. I might lose this one, then. Let's have a look. Is that, is that marked? That's a little bounty there. I'm sure that means a bounty symbol. That means corrupted. As far as I'm aware. Corrupted? Probably. Right. Looks like the rabbits. Yeah, it looks like Amber tried to come in and take Santa, uh, Santa out. But that didn't work out. And Santa's the prestige leader. Even though they are pretty much attacking that. So what are they going to do? Conspiracy. Everyone must sacrifice one follower to the gallows. Well, I've got no followers, so that makes absolutely no difference to me. Whatever. Don't care. That's fine. The king's almost dead. Actually, he's only got two health, and the king's guard's attacking Sana and didn't work out by the look of it. That's an interesting one. Sana might actually get this. Wow. I'm guessing the inclusion of these new cards has helped out casting uh, characters, because I, I used to really like Sana, I think, well, my favourite character. But Thane's really easy to play, because you just charge around and attack things. Let's go to Spell Deck, Spell Deck, and a Trickery. Oh, we can't, we only draw two. So, we could just head up this way, and plus two wits at the end of my turn. That is plus two fight, minus one wits until the end of your turn. Let's do that. I'll get extra fight, and we'll head down, and we'll attack the bear. Now this, I should get a lot of fight here, because obviously I've got my Ale, and my feral ability on there. Obviously, he gets an extra dice for the rot. And then, look at all that attack. Here we go. And, remember, any dice that uh, don't pass automatically become defense dice. Or rather, if we roll any moons, they become defense dice. I think they... I've killed it, for sure. Overkilled by four. But it hasn't killed me, I don't think. N no, I don't think so. Eight, and how much to me? Four. Yeah, I've got one left. I didn't have that charm. Hang on. Why did I die? I don't understand. Don't understand why I died there. It said I lost four. It said I lost four. But I've got five because of my talisman. I have no idea. Anyway. The drawing cards. Amber's turn. I think... Oh, that's where I need to go. I've been trying to go over there for a long time here. This has <laughs> been problematic. Looks like they've got gold. Hmm. I've got a fair amount of gold as well. Is this king going to die now? Oh, plus one rot, and he's going to lose a health in the daytime. Darkness falls across our mellow. And the bane's moving around. I think I'm going to get a spell deck. Another spell deck. And there we go. 
And what's that? Plus two health and force target off mountain. That's pretty good. That's a new, new card. Oh, I like that. I do like the animated cards. Uh, play the creature. Plus two health at the start of your uh, next two turns. Regeneration. That's pretty good. Right, let's head up and we'll investigate these areas here. And oh, looks like we found plus one wits uh, in battle and plus one shield. Okay, I think we'll go. Do we really want to cast that? We do. I think we're going to get rid of our Warhammer. No, our Heavy Flail. I think I think the Warhammer's better. There we go. Be a bit more defensible now. And we'll head up here. And we'll have a quick look what we're going to find. More treasure. Oh, the same thing. Um, I, 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 to be honest, I don't really want that. <laughs> I don't really want that. There's lots of these helms around. I'm going to cast myself. I'll cast that on myself extra wits because I'm going to try and go in there. That's until the end of my next turn. Yeah. No, we can't. We can't afford that. Let's not do that. Right, okay. So, Mercurio's turn. What's he going to do? He's going inside as well. Remember, this is pretty much the second last turn. Santa's turn. She might win this. Attacking the King's Guard. Push them out. This is weird. Because she could have gone for the king there. Okay. I don't know why she's in there if she's not attacking the king. Maybe she's in. The, she wanted to do the perils, but she doesn't have the attack to go for the king. I don't think she really... She isn't very assaulty, I don't think. Anyway, minus one health. But she's still the prestige leader, which means she's going to win this. If, uh, Royal Flush. Players discards all cards in their hand. Fine. That's fine, I guess. No, actually, I wanted to keep that one. But, uh, cool. Let's just flush that. <laughs> and, uh, the guards are going to come in. It takes Santa. I've got this beverage to drink. Ugh, cold chicken soup. Lovely. I wouldn't recommend. Ugh, no. Don't, re no, don't drink that. I would not recommend that in the slightest. Right, draw some cards. Go for... Spell cards all the way. Look at all them cards. That's a lot of cards. Right. Trusty shield. Don't want. Uh, peril difficulty. That's alright. In battle enemies have managed to fight until the end of your next turn. That gives... Uh, I can't cast that because I've got no magic. Uh, that's really bad. Scout hex adjacent. I think I'll just attack the rabbit. When in doubt, just attack the rabbit. Okay, so... I'm going to probably burn a card or two. And there's my cards kicking off. And I think we'll burn that wall. And yeah, that'll do us nicely. Because it's not in the... Because uh, it's in the daytime, we don't get a, like, a nice bonus. Looks like I have actually hurt the rabbit a little bit. Overkill by two. Looks like I've done nothing else. So I will lose a health from going into this. Going into the uh, the marsh. The swamp, rather. There we go. And then I'm going to attack Sana. So I will enter the palace. And see what I can do to try and get her out of it. So here we go. And I get an extra dice because I'm highest on rot. And there's my attack and defense. They don't really have much attack. So they're going to regard... They're going to um, be looking out on their rolls. That's what they're going to be doing, I guess. And five, six attack... That's okay. I don't think I... Well, I've, I've got enough defense for them, but um, I've definitely defeated them, so they're going to be pushed back. So, chop, chop, and... Huh, and that won't be a kill, but it pushes them out. And now I have to encounter a peril. I'm marked, rather. Do I attack the king? I can't attack the king because I've just moved in. Right. So I've got gold. Have I got... Yeah, I've got gold, but I've got no magic, which is a shame. I had some magic, I might be able to play some cards, but I can't. That's a shame. Let's just end the turn then. Alright. Hmm. The game is pretty much over now, and it'll be the press it'll go for a prestige victory, I think. Which would make it. I don't know who's the prest who the prestige leader is. So prestige uh, zero. I'm on four, four, and three. So, it looks like it's between me and Sana, and I don't know how ties are calculated. 
We'll see what happens. We'll see what she does. Might attack me. Either way, I think that guard. Oh, she's attacking me. Okay. So I get extra dice because of the rot. Here we go. What else? I think we will. Do we want to burn some cards? No, we'll just have to roll. We'll just have to roll and see what happens. So five and three defense, six attack. Come on, a little bit more. Yes, so seven attack. So that's them gone for sure. There we go, a lot of overkill. And then I've defended them. So fantastic. She should lose one prestige. Chop, chop. And there they go. And do I gain a prestige? Yes. And I've got a bounty kill. Which means I've got another prestige and a gold. Which means all I have to do is not get killed off a another character or a guard for a turn. And I win via prestige victory. King's turn. Is he going to die? Does he die now? That's a bit of magic there. And some bane spawning. I could just attack the king. My turn now. Right. You know what? Mirror image. Enemies have minus two fight until the end of your turn. Cast that on myself. And... Go for the king. King goes down. I think that is a victory for me. I thought we would get a fight there. Spirit... Oh, spirit stone victory! I had far right. I had enough spirit stones to cleanse him. I've never done that one before. I thought I was going to attack him. There you go. Spirit Stone victory. So cleansed. Destroyed. I am now the king. Prestige leader it says as well. I think I just wrecked that one quite well. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was very close actually. I thought Sana was going to get in there when she was wandering around the palace grounds. Mercurio, that horrible rat, was um, annoying me for quite some time. But uh, obviously it didn't pan out for him. And Amber was... Well, she's corrupted. As you can see, there's all this uh, corrupt stuff going all over there. That's a little some barbed wirey stuff. But yeah, victory. Not bad. Anyway, there's a bit of Armello. It's still really good. It's still really fun. It's um, it's improved a lot, actually, since, uh, since the last time I played. It's become a bit more fleshed out. I mean, I really liked when, uh, what I saw when I did my preview. And, but, I, but I just thought that it was a bit... Uh, I, I didn't really know how automated the game was and whatnot. So... Yeah, it's starting to get fleshed out now. I think uh, I'm going to be keeping more of an eye on this one, actually. Yeah, I might even try multiplayer again. Anyway, link's in the description so you can check it out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments. And generic partings.